I'm currently serving a 25 to life sentence here at Sing Sing Correctional Facility. I'm serving a 17 and a half year to life sentence for murder in the second degree. I'm currently serving a 20 to life sentence for taking a young man's life. Good morning, gentlemen. You find yourself here at another semester. And the whole idea for the education is to bring about a change in our thought process. The program is known as the Masters of Professional Studies, located at Sing Sing Correctional Facility, and we have dubbed it the North Campus for New York Theological Seminary. The program from its inception was designed to take men in the prisons from across the state, bring them into Sing Sing, and work with them very intensely for 10 months in class. This program itself, and even my undergraduate degree in MBA science, helped me to break that social norm. Because when you start to value yourself, then you will value others. We get about 35, 40 applications, and this year we have a class of 12. The screening process is one that is done in concert with the Department of Correctional Services, and we sort of tell them, if you've got any hang-ups, let's get rid of them now. This particular course focuses on pastoral care, uh, Old and New Testament, uh, the history of Christianity, the Christian movement. The idea of the gospel or the Bible or any religious book is to help us to find the strength to help a person find that point of liberation. This is supported solely by churches and individual donations, but we require that when you leave here that you have got to spend a year doing ministry. You come to discover that even though I'm in Sing Sing, I do have a purpose. When we get the call from God, the divine call, and it doesn't make any difference what faith community you belong to, once you get that call, then what happens is you are obligated to follow through. One of my goals is after I'm established, reestablished back in the community, is open up a community center in the neighborhood in which I took Vernon Chapman's life. I'm going straight back to the junior high school I went to. And I want to find somehow to reach out to the kids that are at risk. The term truth in the scripture is that God speaks to everybody. He just speaks to us in a different way. These men, when they get out, they're not going to blow it. They're going to be committed, and people need to give them a shot. I'm not going to be myopic and think that once I get out, there's some great job that's waiting for me. I'm going home as a convicted felon who spent 20-something years in prison, who hasn't been in the workforce in over 20 years, so I have to be realistic. I will, you know, take any opportunities that are available, and that's including being a janitor. If I need to work at McDonald's, then that's what I, I need to do, you know, to make that transition in life. We have an obligation to make this place we're living in a better place. I want you as an ally not as a liability. We have something in common, and the common thing that we have is that we are all children of God. We are all human beings. I can see more possibilities now. You know, I, can, I, I, I understand the world a lot better than when I first came in here. I can see the bigger picture with more clarity. More doors have been opened. I was blessed to be a part of this program. When I came to Sing Sing, all I had was a GED and without any hope, basically. Dr. Hunt saw something in me that I didn't see in myself. He helped me to realize that my dreams were not dead, they were just deferred.